Hey guys, welcome or uh, welcome back to ATL QA Labs. This is Hetu and in this video we will look at self-join. Uh, a little bit tricky, uh, self-join is a little tricky. We have already uh, looked at uh, inner inner join, equi-join and uh, we have also looked at the natural join, right? So uh, today we will look at self-join. A little bit tricky but then I think it is very easy also at the same time if you pay your full attention over here, right? So what is self-join guys? So self-join is basically by definition if you see joining a table with itself is called a self-join. Okay. So uh, what is the need of joining a table? Normally a joining join uh, is performed the fetch the other uh, you know fields or other columns from other table right. This is the reason why we need uh, the join. Okay. But uh, in this case actually we are uh, going to join the same table with itself we are actually going to create the same exact instance of these two tables uh, same table two instances and then joining together okay and then we will be uh, seeing that what is the benefit that we will achieve and what is the information that we really need to uh, uh, get it as part of our uh, self join okay so as i said uh, it is little tricky just uh, pay your full attention and i am sure that you will be able to uh, understand it okay so guys, so this is the table that uh, I have and I want to perform the self join on this particular table. Okay. So the problem statement I would like to just uh, show you here first. Okay. So I need as part of my output, I need manager name also here. Okay. I need manager name here as well. So this is my original table, but in my output, I need a manager name also because manager is also one of the employee here, right? So what I should be getting uh, in manager because manager for employee number 10, manage, uh, employee name is Akas, manager number is 50. If manager number is 50, then what is the manager name guys? Here, right? Arif, correct? Because, record, because manager is also employee. So for this particular employee ID, what is the name? It is Arif, right? Again, for 20, employee name is Mahesh, manager number is 50. Again, the name is Arif, manager name is Arif, right? For 30, employee number 30, name employee name Thomas, manager name 20, and what is the name of the 20 employee number? Here is Mahesh, right? So this is what we will see. All right, guys. Now for 10, manager name is Akash okay for 30 manager name is Thomas right so this is what the information I need so as a resultant I need to fetch the manager name of the employee number uh, sorry uh, manager name of uh, that particular employee right in this case I need I already have three columns in my employee table but I need one more uh, you know I need to derive one more column right based on self join okay so this is how we can get it okay so this is what uh, i mean the output i need to i need to get it okay now let's try to understand how do we uh, you know uh, uh, fetch this information right so guys let's try to uh, go back to you know uh, okay let me try to show you how do we get it okay so it is it may be little uh, if you are not able to understand this thing, I mean, uh, then, uh, you know, it's okay. Let me uh, go and deep dive further, okay? So, I have this table, very same table. Let's say this table is employee table. I am just going to create employee E, okay? I will just say E, alias E, for this manager table. E, uh, for the employee table again, I am just uh, putting the alias name as M, right? Just for, you know, putting a join condition here. So if you look at here, what I'm doing is actually I need all the information from this table first of all, because this is my uh, employee table and from manager table, because this is again employee table, but I have put the name as uh, alias name as M, right? If you look at here, right here. So I have, I, I just need the employee name from here, which means I need the manager name from here, right? This is how it works. So let me try to do one thing. So see, I need all this from e e dot emp number e dot emp e, sorry name e dot manager name n number, and then I need one column from this table m dot name m dot name means I need this particular name because I need to 
get the manager name also we will see that how it works okay when we will see the join then we will clear okay now we are performing the equi uh, sorry equi join or inner join whatever you call it right so then uh, this is what we are writing actually from empe because this table i am this is employee table but i am just putting the alias as e and for emp i am putting as m this for this particular table alias as m so that i can distinguish these two table right that is the very region right i can put anything any any alias name right emp1 and then i can put uh, emp2 to this uh, instead of m right doesn't matter and then i will put the join condition real join condition here right so e dot mgr number equal to m dot emp number okay e dot mgr number means this column equal to m dot employee number so this column basically i need to put equality condition between these two column then my job is done okay let's see how we can uh, get it okay let me try to use ink guys then i think it will be easier to explain you okay uh, let's go there all right now i okay guys okay now if you okay sorry I think this is 50, I know. All right. Let me. One second, guys. Just bear with me. I need to fetch the ink first. Pen, yeah? So that I can draw it. So for this employee number, uh, manager number 50, because I am joining these two, uh, these two columns, right? In these two tables. So same table, but yeah, as I said that we are creating the alias. So I would like to join these two columns. So I want to equate it, right? So this 50 should be equated to this particular. All right. 50 again should be equated. So I'm just joining it here. Now 20 should be equated to here, right? And 10 should be equated to here. All right. Now 30 should be equated to here. All right. So guys, now if uh, we will look at this query, it will be easier, okay? Because uh, we have already joined it. Now we have already put the join here. Now let's see how we fetch the information. Now, if I say 10, uh, all right. This is 10. Name is Akas. Employee name is Akas. Employee man. Oh, sorry. Manager number. Manager number is 50. Now what I need is uh, I need these three columns from here. And then last column that I need m dot name. So from here I need the name from this m dot right name this particular column. So if I equate this two, then what I get? I get R if because this particular 50 manager number equivalent to employee number of m right. So this is I will get 50 R if right. Similarly for my hash will be also same. And for Thomas employee number 30, the employee uh, manager number is 20 and this manager number. 20 it's Mahesh okay for 30 and 40 Nagesh 40 Nagesh 10 and 10 should be the name should be what sorry guys I think I have put in something here I just you know I think it is because something missed out but yeah this whatever name will be here that will come right and for 50 Arif and employee number 30 employee number uh, sorry manager number 30 and we are actually uh, equating this two right so then I will get Thomas okay as a manager name right so this is how we get it so this is the very uh, use of uh, uh, self join and I think uh, this is what I wanted to cover here okay so in interview if somebody is asking can you please explain me self join give an example you can actually use the very same example that I am showing you here and uh, and then this is the perfect answer okay let's try to do one thing let's try to go to my um, SQL prompt and try to uh, see that you know whether the we are getting the information uh, required information are not right so let me one second guys all right so here you go like that okay window capture okay guys we are here now okay so now uh, I have already a table called employee table let me show you okay this is the table 
so i don't want to deal with a rest of the columns like employee department number and all i want to primarily consider these three columns only employee number full name and manager name and then i want to derive the manager name also based on manager number here right so based on our equivalent so what it should be like uh, for example if you take 20 vaishna kumar and then manager number should be 12 and then manager name of the 12 should be rajesh tomar right so this is how we should actually get so let me try so let me write it and then i'll explain you guys this very same uh, query amp number then uh, e dot full name e dot mgr number m dot full name from amp e okay guys in a join amp m okay on e dot mgr number okay this is what we have seen and then uh, m dot emp number let's try guys there is some problem here what's that okay i got it so guys here i have to put the full name right employee that's a problem okay now here also employee employee okay this is the name of the table guys right now see as i said okay let me just see this also okay then we'll be able to match it perfectly so now uh, 25 vaishno kumar parmar and then manager name is 12 and then what is the name of that manager you can get it from here rajesh tomar okay we should get the rajesh tomar here uh, I think it's not in order. What is that? 25, right? So 25 here. You see, guys, right? Perfect. Only thing is the order. It's not displayed in order. Let's take one more, okay? So let's take for four, okay? So four, four, Nilesh Rao, five, and Pankaj Srivastava. It should come, okay? Okay. So now four, Nilesh, five, and for that it should get the Pankaj Kumar as a manager name. So what is the five here? Pankaj Kumar, right? So guys, we are able to. Uh, fetch the required information using the self join so this is what the self join uh, other thing is guys you know uh, i think i have not told this is the ansi standard right in our, we are actually using the keyword for joining the tables right but there is another way also you can use it okay that is not ansi standard but mostly people are using it you don't really need to say inner join here okay you can just use separate it the two tables not uh, yeah not only uh, applicable for self join for every other joins also you can just use it uh, especially for the inner join right you can use two tables separated by comma and then instead of on you can use where clause also so this is another way of writing the same query okay guys so this is the same output you are getting here okay so you see that three two one four right so simple Three, two, one, four, right? So this is the uh, another way of writing the SQL query, and you can write this way or that way. That doesn't matter, okay? So guys, this is what I wanted to uh, cover as part of self join. So hope this is uh, you know clear. If you are not able to understand, you know, one time watching one time, I would suggest that go. Uh, uh, pause the video try to practice it and then try to watch again and again okay i think that's why i'm saying it's little tricky but i think once you understand the concept right how did i uh, showed you right how do we map you know manager number from employee to employee number from the manager table right uh, how how do we map it right Equa uh, put the equality condition and then once you understand that i think it will be very easy for you okay so this is a very important question also from the interview i'll be uh, you know um, i'll see you uh, soon with the next video and uh, that's all for this video guys and thank you thank you for watching and uh, one more request guys if you have not subscribed my channel uh, please do subscribe it because i am putting a lot of amazing videos uh, not only on database, I am putting on ETL testing, data warehousing, uh, Unix and uh, I have already put in some videos, go and watch them. I think those you will really find very useful and uh, uh, good for your you know, uh, growth of your knowledge and also for interview perspective, right? So yeah, so that's all for this video and uh, see you later with the next video guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching and until then happy learning. God bless you. Bye.